Here we are, building the foundation for a 12 by 12 Cobb house in the woods of Piedmont of North Carolina. We're using a slip form method of construction that's popular with uh, stone masonry and concrete masonry. We're applying that to Cobb and seeing if we can get that to work. It had a lot of advantages. We were able to go a lot faster than traditional Cobb building. We built this 12 foot high Cobb building in about three months, although it took, of course, a lot longer to dry. So you can see the forms leapfrogging up the side there. There's a temporary frame made out of two by fours built. There are window and door bucks that are already installed. Um, nails on the side of those window and door bucks to, so that the cob can latch onto them. Here we are kind of leapfrogging up. Um, we tried a couple of different methods for building those forms. I don't know that we perfected it, but um, we're, you know, we're getting there. And here we are. First we were building cob, making the cob with a cement mixer, which worked well, but then we got our hands on a mini excavator, and that was probably about five times faster. cool thing about this 12 by 12 is it was small enough that we could build scaffolding in the middle, dump that loaf of cob from the excavator right there in the middle, and just shovel it into the forms. So basically we're filling it all the way up to that 12 inches once the bottom layer is dry enough after, you know, half a week. It depends on the rain and et cetera, but between a half a, half a week and a week before we can do another layer. And then just kind of shoveling it, stomping on it, getting it smooshed down in there nice and good. Uh, you can see the marks from the previous form lines there. Once you get up to the windows, you got to account for shrinkage. That cob wall is still pretty wet, wetter than if you were going slower and building by hand, so it's probably going to shrink around those doors and windows about two, two and a half inches. So there's the box beam for the window and the door header, the lintels. Um, just built that two by six plywood frame, filled it with cob, you know, six inches of overhang on either side, kept rolling. There's cross hatching here that's for the exterior line plaster that's going to go on to give it some, some scratch, some teeth to connect to. You can see there's a good shot. That's for an AC unit. That's what's on top of that. This is the bond beam, and we made it out of uh, two by 12s. Three tw two by 12s stacked on top of each other, overlapped at the corner, screwed it all together. We p took these lengths of three foot threaded rod, put the nuts and the washers on it first because when you hammer it down into the cob you're going to brutally mess up the top of that threaded rod but if your nuts already there you're golden. Got some plastic in the ceiling you know no, nobody's perfect but we had a loose fill insulation that we were putting in we were using rice husks um, that were dried out and poured in the top there. It's a pretty good shot of the finished roof cob drying out at the top you can see the bond beam you can see the box beam over the windows and the door so that's about to get covered up we're trimming it all out and getting a green roof on here that's about four or five inches deep it had about two inches of gravel two or three inches of soil so they'll get a little bit of growth of, of green there but it's more just to protect the roof and have that interior gutter that um, doesn't ever have to be cleaned out so the walls were still a little <clears throat> moist when we're doing the interior line plaster here. We're using um, a gum tree for all the trim that was harvested about 30 feet away from the, the house here. We milled it earlier in the summer and we're using a lot of that wood for all the trim and the ceiling in there. And there's a little outside shot um, with all the trim done. This is going to be a little music studio for the folks that live here. It's got a sleeping loft up in it and um, just a cozy little great hangout spot. It took about four or five months um, working two or three days a week to build.